The numbers aren't great. $5.5 million. That's how much Jeff Co. Sheriff Jeff Schrader says got cut from his budget this year. 1,392. That is the Jefferson County Jail's operational capacity today. 1,148. That's how many people Jeffco can hold in their jail starting January 1 to stay within the new budget. In that reduction, we're not going to be able to provide all of the same services that we have been able to provide. In response, the sheriff is closing a whole floor of the jail. If the jail still exceeds capacity, then some inmates will be released early from their sentence. The ones who served the highest percentage of their sentence already and at least 50 percent of their sentence and are legally eligible for early release. I don't like this at all. I think it upsets the purpose uh, and and uh, objectives of the criminal justice system. I think it's unfair to victims. If the jail still exceeds capacity after early releases, then Jeffco will go one step further, enhancing arrest standards, they call it, meaning only offenders with higher level felony charges will be accepted into jail. So that the officer who's on the street, it takes away tools from them. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't like this circumstance either. And I don't like the circumstance of what it does to that community that that person's in, that they're thumbing their nose at the criminal justice system. I don't like it at all. Jennifer Meckles, 9 News. The budget cuts also mean 51 positions cut in the sheriff's department. Now, Sheriff Schrader says that he's already managing that with a hiring freeze on some jobs, and so nobody's going to be let go in January for this. The county commissioners made cuts to several departments. They're blaming Tabor for the cuts. The Taxpayer Bill of Rights forces revenue surpluses be refunded to taxpayers unless they vote otherwise. Voters had a chance to, in November to do that, but turned it down.